When we think of St. Patrick, we're thinking of a man with a bishop's hat on, dressed in green. He's kind of the embodiment of Ireland and he becomes the essence of, of Irishness. Do you think there's a serious message behind St. Patrick? Not really, it's just like partying, having fun. That everybody's Irish on, on Paddy's Day. Who St. Patrick was is shrouded in a great deal of historical mystery. He's not Irish-born, he's a Romano-British saint. People like Patrick and his family became vulnerable. He's lost everything, right? Probably he saw his mother and father killed. His faith comes alive in captivity, and his faith matters to him more than anything else. But he used to go out and pray a hundred times a day. It would have been very dangerous to think of escaping his captors. The next day, he ran away. There's a big island out there, it's full of pagans. It needs to be Christianized. The tradition is very strong that this is the first place where St. Patrick built a small church. Remember that Patrick was in danger every minute. He was imprisoned. He had his life threatened repeatedly. Patrick had to begin the process of peacemaking vulnerably. Though there is a lot that divides us, there's one name that still continues to unite us, and that's St. Patrick. The seeds that Patrick sowed into the soil of Ireland went deep, deeper than the wounds was taken captive and sold as a slave in the country for which he later became the Oracle.